Welcome to Viking Basketball with Tyler Geving as the Vikings prepare for their final home weekend of the season, the final two games that men's basketball will play here in the Stott Center. And if you can probably see behind us, they're already preparing for construction because when women's basketball is done here on March 3rd, there'll be construction in this room right away. So things happening here on the park blocks, but you got some business to take care of this week. A couple of opponents coming in. We'll talk real briefly on last week. It's been a rough go. Uh, a lot of close games, Coach, and I know uh, you, you lost two last week on the road, Montana, Montana State, one in overtime yet again, and uh, one going right down to the, to the wire at Montana. What's your evaluation uh, of those two games? Well, I'll, I'll say this. We're playing hard, and I think that's uh, – you know, one characteristic, you know, that you look for in a, in a team is are, are you playing hard? And we're playing hard. We're competing all the way to the end. Um, for whatever reason, these last eight games, I think we're one in seven and four of them have been in overtime and obviously a three-point loss the other night at Montana. And, you know, really one of those games I think we got blown out, and that was Idaho. So uh, for whatever reason, we just can't get over the hump, whether it's a made, you know, missed free throw or a missed block out or – uh, there's a couple bad turnovers here or there. It's just been, you know, one or two things. So, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, if you're playing hard, uh, uh, then you're going to give yourself a chance. And I think that's what I like about this team now. I mean, it, it can be easily, you know, get deflated when you lose some of those games and then you don't bounce back. I was really worried about going into the Montana game, you know, after losing that overtime game, what, what kind of energy we would have. And, and the kids responded. And, and I have no doubt they're going to respond this weekend. Well, I think you really touched on it. The one thing that uh, we've definitely seen from the Vikings, extremely competitive to the very end. There's been no give up, even despite some close losses. And, you know, we can point to the Montana State game. Deshaun Parsons hits a free throw uh, with no time on the clock to send it to overtime. So uh, a big play there. And Brandon Hollins gave you some good min minutes in that game. You look at Montana and a couple guys off the bench, Kyrie Holloway, uh, Monty Luna, and a couple seniors giving you some real good effort off the bench that got you helped get you back into the game and even have a shot there in the closing seconds of that one. Well, that you know, I think right away you talk about Kyrie and Monty, two seniors that they're down to the wire, and you know we just didn't have a lot going, and you know we just said we we got to get some energy out there and threw those guys in there, and they responded well. We went with a really small lineup. We thought we had to you know, down 10 or 11, and we pick the pace up. Next thing you know, it's a one-point game with two and a half to go. So, that, that, you know, credit to Montana. They hit a couple of big threes in that stretch. And even that, we still fought back and had a half-court shot, I guess, at the, at the buzzer to, to to tie it. So, you know, that, that's one thing I like about this team. It, it, it stinks that we're losing these games because we're better than 12 and 13. We're better than 5 and 9. But um, it is what it is. And when you lose that, though, it, it, it hurts. And, and But at the end of the day, I said it earlier, we're not we're – not quit these guys are fighting they're competing and and we just got to continue to do that and I think we get in the tournament and nobody's gonna want to play us okay and uh, we mentioned a few seniors I'm gonna give you a moment there's five seniors on the Viking roster gonna be playing their final home games this week Saturday will be senior night I want you to say a little bit about the contributions of each of those five uh, I'm sure you can remember them but uh, <laughs> we'll start maybe we'll start, but, yeah maybe we'll start in the backcourt here let's start with Kalen Robinson the point guard yeah Kalen's had a you know a good year you know obviously hit that big shot uh, you know beating the University of Portland this year that was, I think everybody remembers that and um, you know Kalen's done a great job he's you know without him at the point guard position I think he'd really be in trouble this year we don't have a lot of you know different options there so he's you know he's logged a lot of minutes for us and and uh, uh, we need him to be consistent down the stretch and we and get him a little bit more consistent down the stretch I think it's going to help us but he's given us everything he's had over these last two years and he, really three years in the year he redshirted as well. Okay and then we'll another senior uh, starting in the backcourt uh, from Silverton Zach Gangler only fourth year guy you've got. Yeah you know happy for Zach I mean that, that's one of those in-state kids we really targeted when he was coming out of high school and fortunate enough to beat a couple schools out on him and uh, Zach's had a great four-year career here you know same thing we need a little more consistency out of him down the stretch him and Kalen to, to give us a little bit more to these next you know four games but um, you know just a you know true warrior and great kid and, and everything you want in a student athlete so uh, happy to have Zach here for four years and and everything he's contributed to us. Okay, and Kyrie Holloway, another senior guard. Kyrie's had different roles. He's been a starter. He's come off the bench, done a variety of things the last two years. You know, Kyrie, first of all, is a great kid, and I think that 
speaks volumes about who Kyrie is because it's not easy. You know, he sat on the bench a lot last year, and next thing you know, where he's in the starting lineup and played a big part of what we're doing. Played early uh, on this year. Uh, didn't play a lot uh, the other day. He played a lot, so um, and, and that's hard to do. And, and Kyrie's had a great attitude throughout the whole uh, time here. And, and uh, you know, I think there's going to be some more minutes for him these next four games. And um, so, you know, I think just having a positive attitude is, is, says a lot about the kid. Okay, Monty Lunan, another local kid, a forward uh, for you, three years in the program. Yeah, Monty, just you know, great energy guy for our team. You know, kind of a leader in the in the you know, clubhouse or locker room, whatever you want to say, but brings a lot of energy to our team and, um, you know, always kind of the same thing. He, he, you go from playing a couple minutes one game to maybe you don't play any, and then all of a sudden against Montana, you really perform. So, you know, like Kyrie, you know, it's kind of up and down, but both those guys have had great attitudes through, throughout their time here. Okay, and the fifth senior, uh, it turns out he's become the Vikings' leading scorer and leading rebounder this year, a two-year player at forward, Deshaun Parsons. Yeah, Deshaun's, you know, these last, you know, ten games or whatever, league play, I should say, has been has been phenomenal, rebounding it and scoring it. And, you know, another kid that kind of got off to a slow start here last year, didn't play a lot the first 15 games, and second half of the season really came on, and uh, I think that kind of gave him some confidence going into this year, the way he played at the end of last year. But Deshaun's having a great year, and, um, you know, really, really competing on the boards and running, you know, in transition. So uh, we're going to need big performances out of him down the stretch also. Okay, and we'll talk real briefly now about the two games this week. Southern Utah coming in on Thursday, Northern Arizona Saturday, a couple of games. Teams below the Vikings in the standings, a couple of wins you really need. No, we do. I mean, we, it, you know, it doesn't matter who we're playing right now, we need wins. And, and that's. That's good for your team's confidence, and I think these. I think that's what we need in these next four games. Is we need to play well. We need to come out with you know, try and win three or four of these things down the stretch. So as we head into Reno, we got a little confidence. I think that's a that's a big part of sports is where you are mentally. And I think right now it's it's more on the mental aspect of us of that we've we've got to get over the hump and try and win a couple of these these close ones. So uh, doesn't really matter who we're playing this weekend. It's 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 I think a lot of it's just about us and our approach to it and. and and where we are mentally. Okay, a final question. I'm going to throw you a curveball when you're not ready for. Okay. But I think you're going to give it us is baseball season, you're going to right? give us a great answer. Portland State playing its final two home games here in this Stott Gym. The Vikings have played here for 50 years. 50 years ago they started playing basketball here. You've been here for what about 12, 12 years now. 12. Okay. Give me your favorite Viking game here in the ooh, Stott Center. Ooh, I'll give you one was probably what was it 3 years ago? Uh, when we beat University of Montana in, in triple overtime, I was Winston. Gary Winston. I can still remember the play we ran off the zone play that we ran and pick and popped him, and he had a wide open three. And that was a uh, you know a game we were kind of going back and forth, and I think we were down about eight or ten with three or four minutes to go and forced overtime. And I think that was that was kind of I think that game you look back, you know, you can always say plays uh, make or break your season. I think that that was one of those where that shot kind of propelled us to, you know, we went on to win 17 games that year and went to the CIT, but as I look back on that season, I think that game was kind of the one that, uh, you know, we don't win that. I'm not sure we have the season we do, but winning that, I think that gave us a lot of confidence. And my second favorite, I guess, I'm going to go, you didn't ask me for a second, but I'm going to tell you my second. It's probably going to be mine. Well, when I was the assistant coach, I think the Boise State That's game the one I was, was uh, I still remember that. I think we were you know, that was a team we went to the tournament with, and that, that, that group kind of in some ways <laughs> underachieved a little bit. We were just – I mean, we ended up winning it at the end, but throughout the season we just kind of went through the motions, and I, I think we had so much talent. The guys knew they could turn it on and off whenever they wanted to, but that game we turned it on, and that, that was uh, – I don't know how many threes we hit in the first half, but we couldn't miss, and, and we gave Boise State a nice little beating that day, and that, that, was, that was a fun game on ESPN. and awesome atmosphere so those are probably my two favorite games here that was a game I was gonna pick the uh, bracket buster game on ESPN 2009 the Vikings blow out Boise State that's right ESPN was once here they in were. this building televising a game <laughs> so you watch it now on uh, uh, go Vikes live on uh, govikes.com for the last couple games this season once again the Vikings at home this week Thursday night Southern Utah Saturday is senior night Northern Arizona. Get all the information at GoVikes.com.